Hello everyone. My name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BISP self-learning video broadcast. Today I am going to tell you how to configure the, your Outlook with your Dynamic CRM. Now the first question comes that why do we need to configure Outlook with Dynamic CRM? Because as many people use Outlook as communication, scheduling and contact management hub for their business. And you can also continue to use the familiar Outlook interface and integrate Microsoft Dynamic CRM at the same time by using Dynamic CRM Outlook. It also provides access to CRM data in the Outlook and with the help of that we can directly send an email to the account to the user or to our contacts or to accounts directly from the Outlook. We can directly send an email to them or we can receive an email from them. So in today's session, I will be going to tell you first of all how to download, then how to install it, the Outlook client on your local system, then how to make a connection between them and the configuration and in the end I will be going to tell you a small testing mail. So let's see how to do this. So first of all, for installing Outlook client on a local system, there are two ways. First way is whenever you logged in, in your dynamic CRM, over the top you will receive a message coming over here that get CRM for Outlook. When you click on this, it will download an Outlook CRM, Outlook client on your local system. This is one way. Another way is you can go to Microsoft, you can go to this link and from here I can download Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 for Microsoft Office Outlook client basically so I can download it from here and you can choose from here you want to go for a 62 bit 64 bit version outlook client or you want to go with 32 bit version outlook client so in my case I have already downloaded and installed it after installation or after once it is installed you need to do some configuration so what configuration you have to do so before moving on to outlook client we need to make we need to do some configuration on our out dynamic CRM so for to do those configuration click on settings then in settings choose email configuration in email configuration select click on email configuration settings here you need to make sure that the server profile will be Microsoft Exchange Online incoming outgoing and appointment contacts and tasks will be Microsoft Dynamics CRM for Outlook this you will get from the list this list box you can choose from here and for process email using Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2015 email router so you have to make sure these are to, to select the required fields over here values over here then click on OK after that you need to click on mailbox click on mailbox when you click on mailbox you can see over here there is a default mailbox appear, appears click on that name and here you need to do some configuration so first of all you need to give the mail ID or the email address from through which you want to configure so I in my case I have entered uh, my company's mail ID over here then make sure it was it will not ask for a credential because the credentials will be going to provide in our Outlook Express then again make sure that the incoming outgoing mail this will be again the Microsoft Dynamics CRM for Outlook all Microsoft Outlook and this will be Microsoft the server profile is to be set to Microsoft Exchange online then click on approve mail then click on test and enable mailbox and at the end save and close so when once it is done or once the configuration is done in dynamic CRM now let me move on to our Outlook client so when you have downloaded the Microsoft Outlook client client on your local system you need to install it and once it is installed you can see in your program menu or in your task your program menu over here you will get a link over here Microsoft Dynamic CRM 2013 and here there is an option configuration wizard so click on this wizard here we need to give this server URL if you have installed the Microsoft Dynamics CRM on your premises 
on your local premises then you need to provide the server URL over here or if you want to connect to the online one so you can from here I can select CRM online because at in my case I'm using CRM online it is not installed on my premises then I click on test connection once the connection is established <coughs> you can see the current dynamic CRM login ID over here if you want you can change it from here and it will display the organization name so at present we have only one organization BISP so that's why it is coming over here only single organization and BISP name and click on OK now once you click on OK it will synchronize your Outlook client or it will synchronize your Outlook with dynamic CRM it will take some time As you can see here, it is initializing the organization. It will take some time to initialize it. Once it is done, after that we'll be op we'll be going to open Outlook and we'll be going to configure our Gmail ID that I have already told you how to configure your Gmail ID with Outlook in my previous video. In this, I will be going to configure our Outlook with Dynamic CRM and then we'll be going to test an email or we'll be Try, uh, we'll be going to send a testing email on a on an account or to an account which is available with our dynamic CRM. So as you can see here, the initialize has been done, and uh, a server URL has server URL has been added over here, and the organization name. So the organization name which is displaying over here. So in your Outlook or in my Outlook, I will be able to see. Uh, new account with the same name so now let's move on to my outlook and let me open my outlook express so i'm opening my microsoft outlook 2010 so as you can see here my outlook has opened and here you can see uh, and the account name as BISP this is same name which is appeared over which is appearing over here as an organization in BISP and if you click on this if you open this BISP when I open this I can see the services over here sales service and marketing and I want to see the contact details of sales under sales so I click on sales and sales or customers we have accounts and contacts so I click on contacts so when I click on contacts, it will join now. Okay, as you can see here, there is a message appears that waiting for a page to be retrieved from a CRM server. So it is basically it is extracting the contact details from the current CRM and you see the page has been loaded and my account contact has been loaded over here with their mail IDs now if I, would like, if I would like to send an email to any user or any contact I can directly I can select the name of that user or that contact from here uh, <clears throat> so I have already done this I have added a new account over here as my name and with my mail ID over here and so as you can see here the email ID is coming over here it's appearing so I click on this mail ID when I clicked on this it will open the Outlook new message box I enter a message over here this is a testing email and I click on send so the mail has been sent it is sending messages or sending an email so once it is done It is done now let's go and check whether I have received a mail on my mailbox or not so I'll go to my mailbox so let me open my mailbox over here uh, not this account the another account that was and I logged in into my mailbox 
and when I check my mailbox I'll found that I have received one email from the current CRM so it's opening and you see I have received an email over here hi CRM this is the number and we have this is a testing email you see I have got a message from there and if I replied over here thanks and send so if you check this I have received an email back on my registered mailbox because in Outlook I have configured my official mail ID over there That's right. so like this we can configure Outlook client for dynamic CRM if you have any issues or if you have any questions you can you are free to send an email to us Please subscribe our YouTube channel for more inter interesting and interactive videos. In my next video, I will be going to tell you some new topics of dynamic CRM. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.